happy Tuesday. Um, not don't have any plans to go out today. First day in a while. Just gonna stay home, chill. I'm gonna play in the kitchen a little bit. Dad's on the phone. He's trying to get a hold of Grandma. Grandma called earlier and left a message saying my cousin Roy's in the hospital, so we don't know what that's about yet. But she stopped by yesterday. I'm gonna turn you around and show you. Heidi's staring at me, even though she just had a treat. I'm trying to get the hiccup, excuse me. But hang out, I'm gonna turn you around. Okay, yesterday Grandma brought us some squash from her garden, so I'm gonna go through these and see what there are. I don't know if I'm gonna cook these down today or not. I don't know. And then she brought this, which I'm gonna pick the meat off. It's a pork roast, and I'm gonna make gravy out of the stuff in the bottom, but I'm gonna just pick the meat off all that. This wasn't plans for our dinner today. It's just gonna kinda be thrown on there, but the rest of the stuff I'm gonna cook is in the fridge. But we're gonna start by picking all the meat off this darn thing. And I'm sure, oh, Heidi is gone. I'm sure when Heidi smells it, she'll be coming. I'm whittling it apart. This is a bone-in roast, but somebody has to be the taste. Oops, I almost dropped you. I almost drop you guys all the time. Oh, somebody has to be the taste tester. Oh yeah, she's like, yes, thumbs up, paws up. She likes it. And then all this good stuff that's in here, I'm making gravy out of later. Okay, back to whittling. Dad's outside talking to Larry. He just showed up, pounding on the door. So they're out there, uh, probably just yakking about things. Um, this is what I bought to cook meat-wise for us. These are just like pork cutlets. And then here's our, I'm going to cook as many of these as I can fit in my Instant Pot. Just cut up my bacon, just cut up my onions, I pulled out my corn. I have 80s music playing, so I'm trying to talk over it. And I'm going to get my beans on to cooking, but you guys know that because... Uh, you've seen me cook these before, so I had to go watch my video to see how much water I even put in them. But, pork cutlets. They were on manager special yesterday, so I bought us a pack. Mmm, Heidi's staring at me. See, look. Look at that little white face looking at me. Okay, back to work. Grandma also brought us some vegetables she had. I'm gonna heat up. I don't think zucchini is gonna get cooked today because we have so much other stuff. There's my uh, pork cutlets. I had a small pack too. These are the last two packs I had. They had them on sale, so they were selling out fast. Because we're gonna have, hang on, I'll turn you around. Hey! So we're gonna have green beans with onions. I'm gonna heat up these vegetables that grandma sent. We got corn, um, stove top, gravy. I'm gonna heat up that pork. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll see how it all comes together. I think in the next couple days I'll slice some of those uh, zucchini and fry them, or roll them in flour and fry them. But still puts it around. My pork cutlets, I just rolled them in flour and then I'm frying them in some olive oil. And I got my water percolating for stove top, and I got that back there, I got my gravy in. Five minutes left on my instant pot. My corn's in the microwave. Everything is rolling. Doesn't that sound lovely? There's dad. I got everything on the table. There's my little pork cutlets. I got the green beans. We got too much food. Yeah, we had too much. Open up the top of that gravy right there. Ugh. Weaker. You're weaker. I made gravy. Might be a little lumpy, but I can't help it. And we got all our other stuff down there. But now I'm going to fix my plate. I got myself all set up. This is my oh, pepper. Pepper. He does it every time. Are you all set up too? I'm all set. Yep. This is like a late lunch, early dinner. It's like 2 o'clock. We'll probably eat some more of this later on tonight. This is my dinner. We are full with lots of leftovers. For the house. I'm so sweaty. It was hot in the kitchen. I'm glad to be here in front of my fan and the air conditioning. Um, like our kitchen really, it's like the furthest from any kind of air conditioning. So we put a fan there in the door to kind of blow air in there, but it really doesn't help a whole lot. Um, but I'm glad I'm done. Yesterday, my friend Nikki came over, I'm getting my other phone, my old phone out because I took a couple screenshots of some stuff to share um we had done our spit dna test mm, quite a few weeks ago 
I never filmed it. It's kind of something her and I were just doing together. And uh, they would email us, you know, all the, all the steps. Well, our results are in. And uh, she came over last night and we logged in together and we looked at hers first. I was more curious about hers than mine. I can't remember what all hers were. She's Eastern European, Scandinavian. She had one little dot in Africa. M Malai? Well, I don't know, it was really funny. Um, but she had some hits was cousins um, so she's messaged a few people and because uh, you know my friend Nikki is adopted she uh, knows nothing about her background so she's trying to maybe piece together on who maybe her mom was or if you know how if anybody knows anybody in their family that might have given a baby up for adoption in the 70s and you know uh, And then I looked at mine, and mine, here's here's my numbers. I have I have it on my phone. Hang on. Come on now. I am 31% Great Britain, 29% Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. I knew I was going to be Welsh because I, I knew some of my Humphreys ancestors came over from Wales. 16% um, Scandinavian, 11% Europe West. 9% Finland, Northwest Russia, 3% the Iberian Peninsula, which is like Spain, um, and less than 1% of Europe East, and then, then I went in to go play with the uh, family tree, to kind of start a family tree, and my dad, I put my dad in, and, and then I added my mom, and then it immediately popped up potential parents. So I clicked mom first, and I'm like, there's grand all grandma's information. So I think some of the crows have put, some other family have put stuff in there. So they said, is this her mother? And I'm like, yes. And then potential father. Is this her father? Yes. And then once I did my grandpa, crow, my dad's, my mom's dad, it, his popped up potential parents. Um, and it says, is this his, his dad? Yes, I remember meeting him once. He died when I was like four or five. And then her, who I never met. I wonder why I never met her. She died in 1975. Because I met him. He was in a nursing home by himself. I don't know where she was. Because he passed away in 1976. But then, whoops. There's old family photos there and stuff. But unless you're a member, you can't do a whole lot. You can do some things, but you can't do a lot of things. So, um, maybe I'll get a membership at some point and see, but I clicked the link of DNA matches for, for the people. First one, my cousin David. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, there's my cousin Paulette. Oh, there's my cousin. I, there, I had a, a several cousins on there that, uh, I knew her in genealogy and it did not surprise me that, that I saw them on their link to me. Um, and then I, I clicked send message to my cousin David. I'm like, hello cousin. Uh, he actually just turned 70 last week, I do believe. He's on my Facebooks. So it's been interesting. I know Nikki's doing more of a deep dive. Because like I said, hers is all a blank. She doesn't know. So uh, she did have a first cousin match. But it was uh, more of a private account. So it was just initials. And it is was ran, what's the word they use? Something by, like somebody else is in charge of that account. I don't know. Um, but that gave a name. So she looked him up and she found him on Facebook. And then he, she noticed that he had a daughter with the initials. So maybe that they put that, maybe he was... Maybe they did it when she was a minor or something. I don't know. But, um, so I think she sent him a message. Because that was the closest thing she had was him being a poten potential first cousin. But he hadn't been active on Ancestry in a year. So if he doesn't message back in a week or so, she said she's going to try to message him on Facebook. So, yes. It's all very fascinating. That is for sure. 
but yeah, that happened last night. She came over about 7.30, between 7.30 and and we hung out for about an hour just looking at stuff and, um, yes, I got cut off because the phone rang. One of those numbers that is a junk call and they never leave a message, but they call all the time from a town, different numbers, very slightly similar from the same town. I get them from Galesburg, Michigan, Plainwell, Michigan, a couple other towns. I don't even know where these towns are. But okay, I think I'm gonna stretch out. What time is it? I'm just squinting because I can't see. Two, why don't I look at this? 2.34. So I think I might take a little nap. And then, who knows what will happen. I haven't been in the recliner in a while. Dad just left to go do an errand for his sister, so he's gonna go over there. I'm getting ready to have a, a little baby pack of Reese pieces and watch catch up on the big brother because I'm like five or six episodes behind because I haven't watched any TV out here in a while because we've been busy or gone or dad hasn't worked bingo in the last couple weeks. Usually when dad works bingo on Tuesday night, I'll come out here and watch some shows or when he goes to play cards on Friday night, I'll come out here and watch some shows. But Friday before last... I went and played cards, so I was with him. And then this last Friday, me and him went out for dinner, so I didn't have TV time then either. So, um, I've accumulated some Big Brother, some America's Got Talent. And we're about the only two I'm recording right now. Off season. Because uh, in the fall, everything will start up again. Then I'll have all kinds of stuff on the DVR. But now... Me and my Reese Pieces are going to be friends and uh, watch Big Brother. Hello, I'm back. I swear, if I hear that Kiki song one more time, oh, it's everywhere. I don't care who Kiki is. I don't care if she loves you. Move on. <laughs> um, Dad just came in from mowing. He's been out mowing the yard for the last couple hours. Now he's having a big bowl of green beans. I just had some green beans and some stuffing. Put everything away. Uh, so now we're wrapping it up for the night, people. So I will see you all later. Bye.